G'day fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the west side of the map, playing in the color green as the Delhi Sultanate. He's back, it's Voldemar 19022. And on the west side, rather the east side of the map, playing in the color blue as the English, we've got Rotap. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lippany. We're here watching two diamond, I was gonna say two, two diamond three. No, these are two Conqueror three players, I assure you. These guys are actually quite good. Uh, for anybody unfamiliar with Voldemar, he streams over on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can catch him. And Rotab, I've seen this guy around for a fair bit. This guy's actually pretty damn good. I remember watching a Beastie Cutie stream not too long ago. And uh, he, I think he lost against Rotab. Uh, so yeah, Rotab, pretty good guy, pretty good player. So watch out for him. But interesting matchup, Delhi versus English. Now for me, th this is this is quite a funny matchup because it really just kind of, you've got two sieves that excel at different times, right? Like you've got the English that goes very well in the early game, also goes very well in the late game, but kind of falls off in the mid game a little bit. When I say they fall off, I mean, I shouldn't say fall off, but they're, they're just not at their strongest in the mid game. They kind of need a little bit of time to power through. You know, they've got the King's Palace going, they've basically done a little bit of an expansion and they get up to the, the third age, they're making lots of villages, but they haven't necessarily paid off yet. Sometimes they'll invest in a monastery, so once again, further investment needs time to pay off. Compare that over to the Delhi Sultanate. This is a civilization that just is powerful through the, the feudal age, through to the castle age. Obviously, non-existent in the Imperial Age, so don't even think about it in the Imperial Age. But this becomes a question of, can the Delhi finish the game before the English come online? That's really what this matchup is. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to be looking for. Voldemar, he's going to have to play an impeccable game here as the Delhi Sultan. I need to see that he's picking up all of the relics as soon as he hits Castle Age. I want to make sure that he's grabbing all of his sacred sites as quickly as he can. And if we take a look at the sacred sites here, not a bad little spawn for him. In fact, I'd actually say a very good spawn for him. Take a look at this. We've got a sacred site on the hill. You are never going to take this away from a Delhi player. This one is so easy to wall in. One little wall here, one little wall across there. Bam. You only have to pay for half of your wall. That's pretty crazy. And at the same time down here, nice and easy wall come in on this side. So I would expect that Voldemar is going to be looking to try and take those sacred sites as soon as possible. But, and Rotab going to be doing everything that he can to stop that. That's going to be very key here. But at the same time, he's going to be thinking about his own agenda. He's going to be thinking about getting up to the castle age, looking to get that second town center, you know, really start getting those knights out, try and deny some of those relics. But Voldemar, his key is going to be killing his enemy in that castle age. And in, normally in that early to mid castle age, you really don't want to go late castle age, uh, especially against a sieve like the English, because if you go to late castle and they make it to imp, yeah, yeah, it's not happening. It's not it's not happening at all. Don't be the faith coming up though now for Voldemar. Found plenty of sheep so far. This is always nice when you find this kind of sheep. Obviously playing the deli. He doesn't really rely on them, so he can just kind of leave them here. By the same token, the English player, I mean, Rotab's gone for an early wheelbarrow, but hasn't added in any mills. And I like the fact that he's actually put this out on the berries. Often we do see that that wheelbarrow, or rather that mill come in behind the town center. But this one's a bit more like, hey, I'm not actually going... Ooh, second town center. I'm loving this play from Rotab. This makes a lot of sense. So essentially, the Eng uh, I guess my theory is that... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I should... Yeah, anyway, look. <laughs> English should be able to get a second town center up and also should be able to stop the sacred sites from being taken. In theory, in theory, okay? Because you've got a little bit of time before your enemy starts taking those sacred sites. You know, they're going to be looking to get their blacksmith upgrades. It's going to take a while before they get up online. And do we have a professional scouts coming in from Voldemar? Why is he killing the deer? He's not, he's not going professional scouts. Instead, he's just going for a very forward mill. Do we have survival techniques? No, not, not yet. But maybe he's just looking for that. Maybe he's looking for a survival techniques out here. And then at the same time, you can see he's kind of lining it up as well with, with the landmark. Um, but, you know, wheelbarrow here in, into horticulture and then survival techniques out here. Then he can transfer all the vills out. I think that makes a lot of sense. A great way to use the, this uh, front deer. So he's got to make sure that he fights for this deer because if he loses this deer to an outpost, you know, if, if the English send out two spears and two longbows and an outpost comes up and denies this, he's going to be in a very tough spot. We do see that survival techniques is coming through, but the age up has come in. Piety has been completed, and as soon as Piety's done, you're going to see Sanctity starting to get researched. Any second, there it is. Sanctity coming through. Archery range going to get thrown down. Interesting decision to go for the archery range, despite opening with the Dome of the Faith. Normally, we would see a uh, Tower of Victory if you're planning on opening with any kind of infantry. Over on the other side of the map, the Rotab is about halfway through to that town center. We can see 165 stone in the bank at the moment. A lot of villagers out here. 
I find it very interesting that he went for an early wheelbarrow though, because it, to me, this is like, it's one of those things where it, it doesn't really make sense against an aggressive Civ, but against a defensive Civ. I wouldn't necessarily call Delhi defensive, but they're a little bit slow in their tempo, right? Like they're not going to hit you with super fast units like the French. You can get away with this. You can get away with this wheelbarrow. It, it's not a big deal. And the second town center will come up. And then the question is going to be, is he able... To, and this is where it really gets hard, right? Because Rotab is now going to be dropping down his second TC. I'm assuming there's a hunt down here. Indeed, there is a hunt down here. Definitely playing a lovely style. I'm liking this from Rotab. The only thing I'm concerned about is we already know that Rotab is going for a, a second TC. So he's going to need to get units out to make sure... And look, beautiful spread coming in here by Voldemar as well. Um, but he's, he's going to need to be getting units out to attack these sacred sites and make sure that his enemy doesn't take them completely. We do see he's going to be able to do that now. Of course, just starting off with some longbowmen. And already we've got the walls coming up. The problem that I foresee is that if Voldemar takes even two, one or even two sacred sites, he's going to have the gold trickle in to get up to Castle Age. And how does Rotab deal with those armored units? And not only that, but how does he deal with the armored units and the keep drop? Because I don't see a window where he gets up and denies sacred sites. He can deny sacred sites, or at least take sacred sites. I don't think he can deny them. Uh, he, he can take them off his enemy. But if he does that, his enemy is going to have enough time. We're going to switch it off Rotab so that we don't hear that wolf attacking. And look at this down here. Another wall coming in. Goes for the big one. Has he spotted this sacred site in the north? He has spotted this sacred site in the north. So still yet to go there. But very, very early walls. And I, I got to give right there. I got to give Voldemar 10 points for this. This is 100% on point. You should be out here capping these before seven minutes uh, with, with your... Or when I say capping them, I'm talking about, you know, putting down these, uh, the, these, these walls. It's super duper important to get down. We just see the first of the longbow coming out. So the, basically at this point, the only thing that Rotab can really hope for is getting a snipe off on one of the scholars. So he'll need to bring his longbows all the way up to the wall and try and snipe the scholar while it's on the sacred site. That's the only thing he can really hope to do here. So let's watch and see how he plays because he's still got two longbowmen in queue. He's spamming out longbowmen at the moment. Second town center is obviously up. He's, he's got plenty of villagers also coming out, but it's going to be very key here that he just maintains longbowmen production. All three sacred sites go in at the exact same time. Beautiful timing here from Voldemar. Seven minutes, 30. And this is what I was fearful of. If sure, sure you've got this. Now, this guy right here, I mean, he can be down here, but still, I mean, this this is just absolutely immaculate timing. And he does manage to, to take out the scholar. Now, he could have been neutralizing, or not neutralizing, but using that scout on one of the sacred sites. And he might get down here as well. We can see that scout coming down, but I don't think he's going to have enough time. So a little bit of a missed timing there uh, from Rotab. Looks like the site, sacred site gets captured. Beautiful timing right there. And he, he gets there just about five seconds too late. But that could have held off that sacred site even a little bit longer. Uh, and then, you know, you delay that, that gold from coming through. But now, it, 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 it becomes very clear what direction Rotab needs to go or what direction he wants to go. And that should be to the north and look to start to challenge this sacred site. But once again, the walls are up. And this is why Voldemar gets 10 points for me. You know, th th this right here is not just Kong 3 level. This is like top 10 level of walling. Really good aggression here. I'm loving the fact that he opened like this. Uh, but at the same time, f for me now, the big question is, is Rotab going to be able to survive? Because now we know the sacred sites have been taken. Sure, you've done a good job. You guys know what's coming next. It's going to be the Castle Age. And once the Castle Age comes through, that's where it gets really difficult for, for Rotab. So he's doing the right thing. He's walling up. And he needs to be thinking about getting Castle himself. But the problem is that there's going to be a death push coming in. And his enemy's gonna he has two sacred sites. Yeah, you can deny the the one in the center here, but two sacred sites is still pretty darn good, especially when you consider that the, the Delhi's gonna be able to pick up those relics. How many relics is he actually gonna be able to stop with these walls? So we see one behind the walls, and then one, two, three, four relics out here, which he'll be able to pick up. Those relics he's gonna be able to turn, obviously, into you know units or whether he trades them in. Now there is a little a little way up, so hopefully Rotab spots that one out as well. But now. Once again, th this attention towards this central sacred site is going to be pretty irrelevant just because this sacred site isn't captured at this point. So yeah, you take the wall down, but only a, a, a couple of seconds and the, the re-wall is going to come through eventually when the sacred site does get taken. Rotab at the moment, six villagers on gold. This is a, an amount of gold that indicates that there is a castle age on, 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 or in the plan or in the works for him. Compare that over to Voldemar. What's he up to? And look at, look at the, the mass that he's already begun to build up. For him, he, he doesn't even really mind. Like, in, in this position, he's okay. He needs to just be focusing on collecting food. 
That's going to be the most important thing for him. So he's got 27 vils on food at the moment. Perfect. Let's switch it over so that we can see the income. You can see that. That's going to start to skyrocket. And at this point, there's a couple of options as to how Voldemar plays this. And it looks like he's going to go by looking to, to capture up this central sacred site. He's got to be careful because this guy can get sniped out. So he kind of needs to keep his units right here looming. Always always threatening. Saying, don't don't you dare come out, Longbows. I will, I will take you out. I will take you out. But speaking of getting taken out... Looks like this villager here, unfortunately, going to be losing its life. And at the same time, that third sacred site about to be captured. Rotab under pressure on the wood line. Falls back away from that position, Voldemar. Wants to avoid losing any units, and the compound of the defender does come through. That's not the compound of the defender. That's the compound of the defender. And all three sacred sites are now taken for Voldemar. So Voldemar in a very solid position. Now the next thing we're going to be looking for. Does he begin to send out scholars to the relics? We'll ride on board with him and see what he sees. Scout coming out. We can see... The, I suspect this scout might be looking for relics. He doesn't know about this one up in the top. There you go. He's, he's good. He's good. This kid, he's he's come a long way. I, you know, I talk about it quite a bit whenever we cast a Voldemar game. Uh, th this guy, I mean, he was sitting at about the gold, gold 2, gold 3 ranking. He, he streamed occasionally, played occasionally, but then one day he said, you know what? I actually want to get better. And he started playing a lot. He started grinding out games, 20 games a day this guy was playing. And he climbed very quickly. He decided, I'm going to get better. And he did get better. And he's in incredibly good at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised at the next Red Bull Walla Lol if Voldemar is sitting down at the table with the big boys. Because this guy is improving quickly. Playing an immaculate game so far. Age up comes through. And now expect to see villagers transferred over to stone. Expect to hear relics picked up any second as well. Three relics. Is that three relics? Is he holding three relics? There's no way he's holding three relics right now. No, that's three sacred sites. My bad. There's the first relic. It's a little bit slow to pick up the relics. That's okay. Scholar's getting taken out. There's a lot that happens as soon as you hit Castle Age. You can see it doesn't have the upgrades coming through. And King's Palace is going to be coming in for Rotab as well. But all these relics are going to get picked away. Another one. So that's three. Well, there's, there's the second one. Third one coming in now. And fourth one has been found to the north. That's three relics. And then the fourth one. There it is. So very, very well played already by Voldemar. And this is the timing window that we were talking about. So the meta arm's going to come out. The, the lance is going to come out. And the keep drop is going to be the big threat here. There's always the potential for a keep drop uh, to be coming in. And that's really what can deny this. But we do see now Sacred Sight is going to be contested. Archer's getting pulled forward. He's going to start neutralizing the sacred site, but does hold on for a little bit longer. Forces him off the site. Longbowman coming out. Wants to avoid fighting before that King's Palace finishes. Needs to try and get that veterancy upgrade, but he's got some decent numbers here. Archer's managing to hold the back line. Spearman numbers actually pretty decent. Rotat taking a good fight, despite not having those upgrades through yet. He's just got to be careful now, because this is where the Lancers come and eat him alive. So he's done a good job killing all the cavalry here on the front line, but don't throw away those, those, uh, those Spearmen. He needs, to he needs to drop a, a second barracks at this point to add in more spears. This is really key because you've just lost all of your spears here. And keep in mind, you're not safe behind this wall. There is, an, there is a little entryway over here. Age up comes through. Five armor against the seven attack. So he's doing two damage a pop here. And now I think he, he's realized that there's a hole in the wall. Continuing to fall back. This is why we need that second barracks. We hear a fourth relic. Was that a fourth relic being picked up? I think it was a fourth relic being picked up. The nice kiting coming through from Rotab. But this is the consequence of taking that, that fight. The tempo advantage is always going to be with the Delhi player pushing in towards the base. That plus two almost through. We can see it about halfway at the moment. There's the veterancy. Finally, that veterancy coming through. He's also looking for balanced projectiles. Really nice upgrade. This is going to give him a whole bunch more damage. I think it works out. So if you take a look here, he's gone up to nine attack. Uh, he was on seven before. So he's got an extra two attack per volley here. It's going to make a world of difference. These are basically crossbows at this point and now able to clean that up. And that's the reason why you always want to fight with that veterancy. But take a look behind this. I mean, the, the, the key thing here... Oh my God. The, oh, the King's Palace is so far forward. Oh, jeez. That is a very dangerous King's Palace. I wonder if that's been found by Voldemar. If that has, that would be focused down very quickly. And look at the amount of units that comes out. He needs to get another wall in here. He can't allow this to remain open. If he allows this to remain open, then he could potentially lose the gold. A keep drop could come down. And if a keep drop comes down right on top of the council hall, it's pretty much good game because all the production for the English player is, is there. The, the council hall, the barracks, so important. 
And now single Spearman going to be looking to hold the line. Not going to have a whole lot of luck. Second Spearman going to be joining the fray as well. Looks like plus two still not in just yet. Six minutes to go on that sacred victory. He continues falling back. He's now got that extra attack speed as well. But keep in mind the three sacred sites pumping out gold non-stop. We take a look at the gold that's coming through. A, a total of 770 passive gold. And this is the problem that we've got because we didn't wall off this little choke point here. And we let our enemy through. Sure, we're cleaning these up, but guess what's going to get cleaned up next? And he's just got so much gold just trickling in. It's all passive gold as well. Nice little job taking out the Scholar there. Second Town Center might be under threat as well. Knight's coming in. He's underneath the Town Center for the moment. Rotab holding on for dear life. Plus two has come through. He's up to 10 damage here against these Lancers. So going to be doing five damage a pop. Our Gatling Gun Town Center helping out as well. But behind this, the question is, where is Voldemort? Going to be dropping that, dropping that keep. And there it comes, the Villagers. Like absolute clockwork, as we talked about. But he's got to, ooh, he's got to be careful. Villagers coming in a little bit too far. Not enough, enough friends here right now to take care of this. I reckon you could even bring more Villagers than this. I reckon you could probably bring, bring close to 20 because this is a game finishing push. This is the nail in the coffin that we talk about. Wallalol comes in on the south side. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen, and gets sniped out. Oh my lord, that was an absolutely sweet Wallalol attempt right there. Looking to try and steal away those Villagers. Not having much luck, though, unfortunately, for Voldemar. But he is an absolute pleasure to watch, isn't he? And he's going to go for a keep in the center. So, okay, so we can see that he's fallen back and said, instead, what, what I'm going to look to do here is just play for the sacred victory. And I think this is a great spot. Good decision-making from him. He could have definitely finished the game by putting a keep here, but I don't think he had the numbers. The Longbowmen under the town center are way too difficult to deal with. Manganel also coming out. Voldemar playing this immaculately right now. He's looking insane. This is impressive stuff coming out from the kid. And I feel like he, that's that's what we got to call him, the kid. He's so young. I don't know how old he is. I'm pretty sure he lives in his own place. So he's got to be at least 18. And I think, I'm pretty sure he's German. And most Germans move out at, a, at quite a young age. I was, I was actually looking at some stats that talked about, you know, the age that uh, the people move out. And Germany was one of the lowest, if I remember correctly. I think Germany, Finland, and Netherlands are all pretty low. I might be talking out my ass, though. So maybe it was something else. Maybe it was like the happiness index or something like that. But to be fair, mate, I, you know, there's something to be said about having your own place and happiness, right? I, I remember when I moved out and, uh, well, I hope mum's not watching, but I was a happy I was a happy man when I moved out of home. I didn't have anybody telling me I couldn't cook steak at 11 o'clock at night. That was a fun time. I'll tell you guys about that story later. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll move on. Three minutes and 30 to go, though, for this sacred victory. We got stone walls coming up. Remember, the compound of the defender has come through already. It's going to take a while for these stone walls to come up, but this is basically the sacred site being 100%. No chance of it getting taken. It's also got those back walls through. There is a little bit of a way through that he can go. But remember, this the choke point is being held at the moment by Voldemort in the center. So the other thing that he's got to watch out for is this sacred site in the north, which is getting kept up right now. How do you deal with this? Where do you go from here? You can see down on the south side, Villager's going to be making a bit of a run for it. He could look to try a picket fence with the stone wall, but I don't think he's going to have the time. Indeed, he doesn't. And instead, those men at arms going to be just kind of standing by idly. Needs to get on top of the sacred site. So Voldemort in this position, knowing that he can't kill all of these villagers, needs to just go and stand on the sacred site. If he stands on the sacred site, that's going to allow the sacred site to keep ticking, even if your enemy comes in on top of that. Let's see if we spot that. It's not going to happen. Never mind. Oh my god. We've got massive damage coming on in the base. Doesn't look like too much has happened. A couple of mangonels pushing through. Longbowman might get taken out. Fortunately, he's able to hold it a little bit longer. But this is where the action is, right here. And we can see now this is going to hold the sacred site. But obviously, the men at arms. I think he, I think he realizes like, oh, okay, I can I can hold the sacred site, but um, I can't really do much with it. I need these villagers working for me. So two minutes to go till sacred victory. Now, to be honest, he could just be doing a ring around the rosy, but the knight's gonna be coming out. Oh, the knight's gonna be coming out. This is not a good position here for Rotab. If he loses these villagers, this is good game, and a good game gets called. Voldemar victorious here on Lippany. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this game, go check out Voldemar. I'll leave a link in the description to his Twitch page. He streams in English, even though he's German. He might even be live right now. So go say good day from me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.